Hi folks, Graham here again from Badlands Guitars in Brighton, New York, Paris, Rome, Tokyo. Okay, just Brighton. Place. Just Brighton for now. Yeah. But we are not planning to expand to those places. <laughs> There's no plans. Okay, moving on. We are looking today at another vintage guitar. I love vintage. They are very well made little guitars. This one, based on a very popular mm. style. It looks you very noticed, cool. It's quite familiar, isn't it? It is. Um, we haven't dragged it around the, uh, the, the warehouse. <laughs> Outside, yeah. No, um, <laughs> they come pre-knackered, um, which is great, because if you like the knackered look, then they've done it well. Yes. So a vintage V62, giving a hint towards the year era of this guitar. Nice little touches, all vintage guitars, as we've said before, Wilkinson hardware, mm -hmm. pickups. But nice little touches, as I say, with your vintage style I don't mean vintage brand. I mean yeah, vintage, vintage style. style. Confusing this, isn't it? It is. Uh, the, having a the name. Word vintage. Yeah. Comes in to this conversation quite a lot. Yeah. As so soon this, as you say, oh, I've got a vintage guitar. That's it, yeah. People, oh, what year? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. 2020. That's <laughs> it. So the vintage styley of this bridge was always a bit of a pain when Leo, should we call him Leo? Let's call him Leo. Yeah. Leo invented it. It was great at the time. Well, it wasn't actually. It was rubbish at the time, and it's still rubbish because you couldn't compensate. The intonation on these sure. three saddles. Three sure. saddles means you were working in pairs, and as anyone will know, especially with the E and the A, the E wants to be way back there, mm -hmm. and the A wants to be further forward. You couldn't do that on them. These are offset and compensated, so that is brilliant. And as you well know, I'm not going to play this thing. I'm going to hand it over to our in-store genius, Josh Allen. I wish I was a genius. No, I, actually, I not, wouldn't be playing you? guitar. You're a bit yeah. thick, actually. I am, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, this is a really cool guitar. I tell you what, actually, um, 60s year specific style um, F style oh, guitars, yeah, yeah. Leo's. Uh, Leo's, uh, Leo's guitars um, are my favorite. Um, 60s, 61, 62 um, S type and T type guitars are my favorite. Mm. Um, just having that one ply scratch play as well, like having that late 50s era style yeah. thing going on. Um, and for this, my, how much is this? This is. No, that can't be the one. Oh, go on then. £349. £349. Being at £349 to have a guitar with Wilkinson equipment and compensated bridge saddles, saddles yeah. is um, is a really, really nice little touch. And what's this What's this new bone? New bone is the material used on the nut, which is somewhat better than plastic. Oh, is used it graph tech? Other, Yeah, it's a graph tech nut. Okay. So it's a graphite infused Bone, well, bone style enough, yeah. which eases the, the passage of your string through the through the slot. So if you're doing lots of big bends, they go back again, which is really helpful when you're playing a guitar. It gives you a capital extra, capital bottom end tone. Apparently, yes. Extra bottom end tone, <laughs> new bone XB. But that's cool. So that's another thing. So you get a Graph Tech saddle, uh, you get a Graph Tech nut, sorry. You get Wilkinson hardware, you get compensated saddles, you get a cool 60s road worn style guitar. Yeah, it's a really, really, yeah. once again, a really cool guitar for 349 yeah. quid. Easy player, not heavy, Yeah, pop poplar body. Ah, so this is another, yeah. so specifications, we have a poplar body, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. maple neck. obviously we've got a nice maple neck, yeah, there. really, really cool. The other thing that surprised me about this, which we spoke about beforehand, is the radius of the fretboard. 7.25. Yeah. Over yeah. at this point. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've got we've got an unbelievably flat fretboard, um, which is kind of crazy for a guitar like this. Um, I'm I'm not too sure as to why it is, but it might just be for the playability, obviously, yeah. because it feels feels like a shredder, even though it's like a classic style guitar. So it's pretty cool. Exactly. I mean, playing's developed. Back yes. in the '60s, people were playing jazzy styles yeah, they were moving yeah. on from jazz to rock and roll yeah the big bends and the big fiddly bits weren't particularly in there so pulling your string two tones across the, the neck at the 12th fret was <laughs> really a, upon. Wasn't a thing <laughs> it's like long hair and all those other hippie stuff exactly that just shouldn't have happened yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but of course nowadays modern players want to play that way yes. and it makes the passage a lot easier it does and it really does. nothing wrong with that make it easy awesome. i say yeah make it easy yeah yeah cool well let's hear what it sounds like go on then Mm-hmm. 
Um, wow. Yeah, so as as we said, it's an easy player. Um, sounds really good. Um, I'm using the same rig as last time, so going into a Black Star JJN20, um, and you're hearing the direct signal coming out of a uh, Boss Wazza tube expander, um, and I got the uh, Joss Allen signature Freya drive pushed in the front end uh, just for a little bit more oomph if I need it. Oomph indeed. Oomph. Well, I was very, very surprised. Clean sounds on that are very 60s. They, yeah, surprisingly nice enough. Old school, yeah. they're not modern clinical, they are a nice period tone. That's yeah. the thing, There's um, I've recently had those pickups changed into my guitar and it's just, it, it is crazy how you can feel so far removed from your comfort zone mm. with just the change of a pickup. Yeah. You know? um, I had some pickups of Graham stuck in a guitar and within the day I knew that they weren't for me and I brought it back and changed it out to something that I was more familiar with. Um, and these just feel familiar. They feel smooth. Um, they feel like you can um, actually play with confidence instead of going like, oh, can I do this? Do you know what I mean? So, and I love that smooth um, uh, 60s vibed um, T and S style pickups. Yeah. I, the 50s yeah. stuff is too bright for me. So We could talk pickups for weeks. Oh, we could. Yeah, but we really could. the thing is, people's perception of hearing, they say, I want, I want a strap that sounds like a strap. Yeah. And it's like... Which well, what does thinking? that one yeah. sound like? Yeah, <laughs> they were fifties, they were sixties. They're very distinctive sounds. They really are. Then it all went a bit pony in the seventies. It really did. I'm not a fan of those <laughs> no, guitars. <absolutely> not. <laughs> There's not many people it's that are. Of the, off the yeah. cliff. But then, since then, they have been endless styles and, and tone ranges, hybrids, in pickups. Yeah. So when so people ask for a classic. This is as near a classic as you're going to get. It's what you've heard and what you want to hear. Especially for 300 quid. Yeah, so, great yeah. bit of kit. Cool. So once again, just like in the last video, make sure to come down to Badlands Guitars and try them for yourself. Um, there's a massive range of uh, guitars here, whether it be vintage or anything else that they stock in the store. Um, obviously, come and see the guys here. And Indeed, and we've got some vintage guitars as well. We do. As well as vintage guitars. <laughs> because we do do used guitars. Yes, vintage and vintage. Yeah, dual vintage attack. Absolutely. Cool. Well, there you go. So, yeah, do you want to finish it off? Pop down and see us, yes. Graham, Badlands Guitars in Brighton. Can't wait to see you. Cheers, guys.